Hi, this is Pancho here from Frontier Performance. Do you work better under pressure? Lessons from the All Blacks and Sales Psychology. Do you ever feel like you need pressure to perform at your best? Maybe you have the same problem that the All Blacks are facing right now. For those of you who may not follow rugby, the All Blacks are New Zealand's dominant rugby team, known for their incredible performance over the last 20 or 30 years. But lately, even they've been struggling with something many of us experience, letting the pressure of fear control their game. Let me explain. The All Blacks have historically been unbeatable, especially when it comes to finishing games strong. But recently, instead of playing to win, they have been playing not to lose. It's a really important distinction to, to understand. There's a shift in their mindset, a pattern of fear of losing, taking over their natural, aggressive, winning mentality. And it's become a consistent pattern in their games. Now, what does it have to do with sales? Well, this pattern shows up in salespeople all the time. You get fired up at the start of the month and with all the pressure to hit your targets. But as soon as you start hitting them or you get close, what happens? Motivation drops. You hit the targets or close to it and just like that, the fire goes out. Sound familiar? Many salespeople have coached rely on fear and pressure to get them moving. The fear of not meeting their monthly targets acts as a huge motivator. But once the pressure lifts, so does the drive. It's like a rubber band that's been stretched too far and once it snaps back, the tension uh, diminishes or disappears altogether. But living that up and down emotional swing is exhausting for you and for everyone around you, home and business people. So how do you avoid getting stuck in this fear-driven cycle? Here's a tip that will not only help you break free from this pattern, but also make you more consistent and motivated in your sales performance. The first thing is, set little mini goals with time blocking. Instead of just relying on the fear of missing your targets at the end of the month, break it down into mini goals. Focus on time blocking, especially in the first two hours of your day. This is when we feel the most tension. I've seen that if you spend those first hours purely on prospecting and lead generation, you're gonna stay in the game longer. You're gonna feel more in control and you're gonna avoid the pressure of burnout. Avoid stress as a trigger. Avoid stress as a trigger. Many people think they need stress to get moving, like they need a jolt of adrenaline, maybe you need a coffee for you. But the problem is that stress is an unreliable driver. By focusing on mini goals and making consi consistent progress throughout the day, you can avoid the emotional roller coaster that comes from relying on stress to push th you through. In fact, when you manage your time better, you'll find you actually improve your pipeline and deal flow by at least 15% per month. That's because you're working smarter, not harder, and you're not waiting for that fear trigger to get you into that action mode. So what can you take from, all the, all, from the All Blacks and from this insight? It's simple. If you can spot patterns in your behavior, like needing fear to drive your performance, you can change them. You don't need to live in this high pressure cooker of monthly targets or emotional swings. Take control of shifting your mindset and mastering your time management. I'd love to hear from you. How do you handle fear and pressure in your work? Drop a comment below, and if you're interested, diving deeper into sales psychology and how to consistently elevate your performance, let's chat. Thanks for watching, and remember, mastering your mindset is the key to mastering your sales.